Wood, and I want to talk to you about two things, the two things that every businessman and woman are most likely missing and don't understand on how to be successful online, how to be successful as a pun- content creator, how to be su- 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 successful as a freelancer. Um, this, this is a raw video. Obviously, I'm not editing this. So there's two things that are missing. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Number one. First thing is what I call power. Okay. What is power? What does that mean? So power is the skill set. So let's go back to if you were um, in California, it's the wild, wild west back in the 1800s, gold rush. You have to have the right tools to get there. You have, to have the ability to get there, you have the ability to, to take your shovel and put it in the ground and actually dig for the gold. Like that's the ability. So in our world, that's the skill sets. That's the resources, right? It could be software, the resources, or understanding. Skills is going to be copywriting or understanding certain kinds of skills, right, online, right? Those are the things that you have to have, right? Is actually the power, right? And nowadays, there's so many different tools out there. You have all kinds of power. So then why is it some people are successful and some people aren't? Well, that's the second part of the second thing missing. That's called confidence. All right, so power is the ability to act. Confidence actually is the action. Okay, so confidence actually is not only the ability to act, but it also is the power to act. It's the action of. So in our world, what does that mean? It means under, basically networking, right? Mastermind, mindset. I can't tell you how many times people come to me as private clients, and including myself, they have all everything they need. They have everything they need to be able to be successful online. Everything, all the resources. They have uh, the the cameras, the the video crew. They have everything they need. They have the microphone. They have the voice. They have the message, but they don't know how to execute it, right? And that's where the confidence comes in. So I'm going to be actually launching a new program coming up soon, and it's called the Influencer Growth Formula. And the two areas I'm going to be working on is what I call the power, the right skill sets, the right strategies to have the influence, but also the confidence. What does it actually take to go beyond just being an expert? What, it, what does it actually take to go beyond just your message? What does it take to actually go beyond being an influencer internally in your head? It's a personal thing. It's very much a confidence. I know myself, look, I don't look like, I don't know. I don't look like the average of course, I'm not 21. Okay. I'm not, I'm not 21, 22. I have been online since 1999. Did you know that YouTube is basically less than a decade? So I had an amazing time yesterday. I had a, a three hour conversation with Ber- Roberto Blake. He's an influencer, a YouTube influencer, and I am an expert on podcasting. And we got together and we're having this two hour, three hour conversation. It was supposed to be 10 minutes. I called him. He's like, why don't you give me a call for a 10 minute chat? I called him like three hours later. I was like, I got to cook dinner. So he said, Heather, you've got to get that. Now's the time to create a YouTube channel because one, most of the people that are on YouTube as a, as a influencer are younger and there's this huge gap for people that are older. Okay. I'm older. I'm over 40. So that's older. But the users have changed. It used to be the user base was 20s. Now the user base is in their 40s and 50s because it's become mainstream. Why? Because YouTube is now a decade old. That doesn't, that's not a long time. That's called infancy. It's just beyond its infancy. It's now in teenage years. It's figured things out. The AI has figured things out. It knows what people are searching for. It's way more um, intelligent. The AI is very intelligent. It's got all this data for 10 years. So Now's the time to start a channel, which sounds crazy. Now, in my world, podcasting, I said the exact same thing. It used to be that podcasting was the redhead stepchild, knowing what it was. It was kind of like totally geeky out, right? Now, it is the way brands are getting their message out. I think every brand and every author, every business owner should have a podcast, even if that means you just own a software company. You own some software company. Great. You should own a podcast. It's an amazing way to network. It's that second part. It's that confidence piece. You have the skill set, but you don't have the confidence. The confidence piece is the ability to act, right? Ability to act and execute and actually get the idea out there. 
and then be able to get people to come towards you. That is the confidence piece that everyone's missing. And right now, the two things, the two tools that are the most underutilized, believe it or not, are YouTube and podcasting. So I'm very excited about my new influencer growth formula program. It's going to be coming out soon. It's not out yet. Um, and you know, a lot of it, I have to say personally for myself, you know, look, like I said, I'm not 22, you know, I don't look like Marie Folio. I didn't get my hair done. I, I don't have a big group of writers and people behind this camera here. It's just me. And the reason why I'm starting a YouTube channel along with my podcast and my podcast network is because this year I have actually launched over eight shows. That means other people's podcast shows. And when you start launching other people's brands, other people's companies, and you take that on like they're your child, you start to learn what's working, what's not working, why some fail, why some succeed. You start to actually learn data you take in that data and you say, what's really working in the marketplace today? And where is it really going? I'm constantly sharing with my clients articles from Wall Street Journal, articles from even one on, from Harvard about podcasting, how it's literally changing the game in media. So I can go on and on about this. Um, again, what I mean by what I look like, um, one of my biggest hangups that I talked to Roberta and why I'm hiring a coach, by the way, for my mindset is that I don't look like the YouTuber, you know, I, I don't have a big camera crew. Um, I might be getting an editor here and there, but honestly, it's like, I'm just the average girl, right? I'm just an average girl trying to make a living. <laughs> That's how I see it. Some people don't see me that way. That's how I see myself. I'm just a girl hanging out in a leopard shirt, <laughs> just sharing with you what I've learned as an entrepreneur since 99 was the internet and 2001 was the last time I got a W2. So, um, I hope this helps. If you like, great, awesome, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Heather Haywood. Bye.